Hey there, gamers, I'm Probably Senpai, and today we're going to be discussing some theories, concepts, hopes, and even some leaks surrounding Disney Dreamlight Valley's multiplayer mechanics. If you enjoy today's video, be sure to tap that like button, as I am a small full-time content creator doing my very best to bring you quality content you can enjoy. Consider subscribing for more Disney Dreamlight Valley and gaming content, and with that, let's dive in. January 25th, 2023, the Disney Dreamlight Valley developers finally gave us something big to look forward to. This time, it wasn't just a sneak peek at what to expect in the next update, but an entire roadmap revealing what to expect for the next several months and beyond. New characters, star paths, decorations, clothing, story arcs, and one hot topic that caught everyone's eye and drove tons of speculation. Multiplayer. When it comes to Disney Dreamlight Valley's multiplayer mechanics, many players can't help but to consider how multiplayer worked in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and rightly so. The games are often compared to one another, and after a lack of new content from Animal Crossing, many fans of the franchise found themselves falling in love with Disney Dreamlight Valley. And this brings us to our first theory, one that I and many others hope to be true. The theory that we'll be able to visit one another's valley. From a multiplayer standpoint, I feel like this has to be a feature? Right? Almost any time multiplayer is brought up, one of the first features discussed are valley visits. Considering the game has captured the hearts of many who enjoyed Animal Crossing New Horizons, I would be so shocked if this feature was not incorporated. For me personally, this is one of the most exciting things to consider. As a content creator, I would absolutely love to tour, highlight, and share beautiful valleys with the world. I did the same thing with Animal Crossing back in 2020, and Animal Crossing tours quickly became one of my favorite streaming experiences. Experiences. Now, I do think it's highly likely we'll be able to visit one another's valleys, but that does prompt another question. How will it work? How many friends can visit it once? Will there be mini games we can play? Will there be a co-op quest line? Can we shop in someone else's Scrooge store? Can we bring someone gifts or presents? The possibilities are endless, and sadly, at this time, we know very little about how this could or will work. Also, I feel it's very important that I add it is possible we don't receive this feature at all. We have to remember that this is not Animal Crossing and Gameloft may have a completely different approach to multiplayer. For now, I'm remaining optimistic that we will be able to visit with friends, but I'm also trying to keep an open mind concerning the devs' choices, and I encourage all my viewers to do the same. One concept I would love to see would be the ability to trade or exchange items. For months, I've bought every cool dress and piece of jewelry that comes into Scrooge's shop, and I'm not even interested in wearing any of it. I'm fond of my avatar's current look, but I buy these items in hopes that I can give them to my friends and community members. Now, with that in mind, it may be problematic if Gameloft allows us to give unlimited items to one another. Since we can order lots of furniture and clothing options from Scrooge, unlimited trading would potentially allow players to unlock an extremely high amount of items very quickly. This could also take much of the allure out of Star Paths if unlocked items could be easily gifted to others. Free-to-play game concepts usually require players to grind or spend ample time completing collections. Otherwise, players may lose interest after quickly obtaining everything they're wanting. So, how will it work? To be honest, I have no idea. There are lots of ways Gameloft could work around this, limiting the amount of daily trades per player, making only certain items tradable, or, and I really hope this won't happen, there could be some kind of trade voucher, say 500 Moonstones, you can ship or mail a gift to a friend, now, I sincerely hope that isn't the case. I feel like there are plenty of other ways Gameloft could work out this feature. I'm just trying to consider all the angles here. Though, there is something hinted at in the leaks, referring to another type of in-game currency that I believe is not monetary. And that brings us to our final topic, the leaks. Now, before I get into this next segment, it is very important for me to mention that I have not seen the game code for myself. I have no way to confirm the information I am about to share with you. Further, even if these items are in the game's coding, the devs could suddenly pull a 180 and decide to take another route. As of right now, I would advise everyone watching this to take it all in with a grain of salt. For now, it's best to take it all in as simple speculation. Some aspects of Disney Dreamlight Valley's multiplayer mechanics have been leaked, discovered in the game coding and posted by Redditor Tapwater underscore Apple Cider. 
The post reveals images connected to a friending option and then goes on to specify certain file names indicating certain features. The file names seem to indicate that there is going to be some form of valley social media called Ralphstagram. This actually makes a lot of sense considering we have a smartphone which up until this point has been a simple camera. Ralphstagram seems to feature a follow system, likes and dislikes, a comments section, news updates, and social posts. To be fair, it seems pretty in-depth. And it seems there's even a Ralphstagram currency, which could have something to do with the way we send and receive gifts. Safe to say, this feature likely won't be going live until the Wreck-It Ralph characters make their way into our valleys. Other interesting file names indicate leaderboards and design challenges. Personally, I was quite surprised to hear of a leaderboard, considering that at this time, Disney Dreamlight Valley has no method of scorekeeping. I believe these leaderboards will somehow be connected to the design challenges. Though it's unclear whether the design challenges will be tied to Ralphstagram, but I think that would be a fun route. Maybe public opinion and voting is what determines one's place in the leaderboards. That said, I could see some drawbacks with that. Influencers, creators, and streamers may have a leaderboard advantage in this case considering they have a high number of followers engaging with their content. And I'm saying this as a creator myself. I just hope the leaderboard and design challenges are accessible to all players. Unfortunately, only one of the theories we've discussed in this video seems to be somewhat confirmed in this leak. There are in fact file names suggesting presents and gifts. So trading and gifting among players seems to be a very real possibility. However, at this time, it's still unclear whether or not we'll be able to visit one another. Now, just because this information hasn't been discovered doesn't mean it's not coming. I, for one, am still fully expecting some kind of cooperative gameplay involving visits. One of the most positive things about this leak is it seems Disney Dreamlight Valley has opted to take its own growth path into the world of multiplayer. So far, the features and mechanics Gameloft's adopting seem to be unique, interesting, and intriguing. We still don't know exactly when we'll have multiplayer, but we do know it's supposed to come sometime this year. When it does arrive, I hope I'll be able to add some of you as friends on Ralphstagram, assuming that, you know, Ralphstagram is real and it happens. As always, I'm eager to hear your thoughts. What kind of multiplayer features are you hoping to see? How do you feel about the discovered file names? Do you believe the leak is real? Do you think the multiplayer update could bring the entire community closer together? Feel free to drop the answers to these questions in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing for more Disney Dreamlight Valley and gaming content. Thank you so much for giving me your time today and good luck decorating your valley.